Welcome to another episode of Deep Dive. We are back to normal this week. Um, I, I promise I won't do that to you too often. I won't fly solo very no, often. And, and um, you were popular. You're very popular. I, I operate in Cliff Notes versions <laughs> of almost everything. So <laughs> less is more. Oh, man. Uh, but thanks for thanks for the patience that week. It's it's just been a it's been a couple weeks here. We've been busy, 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 busy with so many things uh, going on um, at the church. We've had to tend to. Um, you know, you've been dealing with a lot of families oh, man. and just the things they've been walking through um, and, and all the events coming up. We're entering into that sprint towards the end of 2021. Uh, one of the things we have coming up is Fall Fest on Friday. And uh, we're, we're, we're pretty good with uh, volunteers. What we need is people to invite your friends and show up and just hang out and have a good time. Um, you know, we could use some help tearing down and setting up for a, um, some, an event coming the next day. But other than that, we just need you to show up and uh, love on people. You know, our goal is that, our prayer is that this event would allow us to develop relationships with the community, with people outside the church so that they know that we love them and God loves them. And, and, and that we starts that path to intrigue and in who God is and, and what he's about and what we're about. So we need, for that, we need people. We need you guys to, to just kind of come and hang out and, and be representat <laughs> representatives. Representatives. <laughs> Well, if you have friends, now this is one thing I want you to remind you of. This is not the same week as it's been yes. for many years. So if you have friends who usually come to this event, make a phone call. Say, hey, it's this week. We're going to have Trunk or Treat. Bring your kids. We're going to have a lot of fun. Six so, to eight. Six, six to eight. To trunk eight. or Treat. Some games inside. We'll have food. And just it'll, it'll be a good mm -hmm. time of hanging out. We're going to have an outdoor seating area, some hay bales, and a couple games out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, so um, how's Amos doing? Amos, okay, that, that's, I don't know if that's funny anymore. Uh, if you haven't heard uh, the first time I preached on Joel, uh, I, I used Amos. I called him Amos about five times. So it's it's good. The the book of Joel. I, I like your notes, by the way. <laughs> He's got a big old note on his on his podium up there that says Joel, not Amos. I guess I'm hungry. You're talking about the cookies. Yeah, right famous there. Amos. Yeah, yeah. Famous Amos cookies. Um, Joel Joel's been Joel's been on the prophet to walk through the, this book really um you know there's some the first part of the book there's some scary pictures mm -hmm. of god's judgment and uh you know locusts four different types of locusts um you know thorough if one didn't do the job the next one did if they didn't do the rest of the job the next one did and then whatever was left the last one picked it up and uh but yeah just god's judgment and then god's judgment that was coming out as people um with armies and things and and it just it it just makes us sit back and go, man, you know, this is this is a part of scripture that we see that teaches us about the fact that, you know, there's accountability for sin. Mm -hmm. And um, and of course, in that sermon, I, I flipped it into the New Testament context and really talked about grace and those things. But um, and, then, and then you get to the second part and in the middle of um, chapter two, and it, he just starts talking about returning to him. I love how it starts in verse 12 of chapter 2. It says, yeah, even now, and, you know, even with all this stuff going around, you return to me with all your heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just goes through, we see him go through the character of God. We see a call to the uh, to assemble together. We see a God who chooses to redeem his people, chooses to meet his people. And this week especially we see that because the first line in this week's text is, then the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people. And, you know, that we don't use that word pity that much in this context. But, you know, when you think about that, about how God sees us and he 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 desires relationship with us, yeah. he knows our brokenness. He knows, he loves us so much, he's willing to chastise us. He's willing to to get our attention, to give us conviction so that, that we return to him. Yeah. So the, we only have two more weeks in this, then we go into another series. But the, these two weeks, these next two weeks, as we talk about, the Lord, um, you know, the Lord having grace and mercy on us and then the Holy Spirit's work. And, it, and it, you'll have to come see how that ties in. It's really kind of cool. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. I, I, I just was caught by the yet even now return to me. You, you see that through many different scenarios in the Bible, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be sin or uh, dry seasons mm -hmm. or uh, tough times, the, the solution mm -hmm. <laughs> to and all of those is to return to God. Mm -hmm. One of the other themes we've kind of seen recently at the church is just the season of discernment. Um, mm -hmm. Leaders, not just you and I leaders, but church leaders. We, we all are in an interesting spot right now where we have to figure out how to do what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. And and um, 
what's been really neat is seeking what God's desire is mm -hmm. has led to some really creative and new ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. Not new for the sake of new. Mm -hmm. New because this might be a better way to do what God wants us to do. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we should try this. And, and it's been really cool to see that to see that kind of come to fruition, you know, mm -hmm. you know, little things like the trunk or treat mm -hmm. in on the, the, you know, it's just something we thought about, well, let's try it. You know, we're going to, we're going to approach Christmas a little differently this year. Mm -hmm. Um, and not to be, <laughs> not to scare you, no. you know, and it's not going to be, it's not going to be that different. It's just going to be, it's a different way of trying to get it together to go after what we're going after. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we are, we are striving for as, as leadership of the church is mm -hmm. unity. Yeah, and, and you see a lot of these things coming, um, a lot of the the, the decisions and, and innovation and things are striving for unity. They're mm -hmm. trying to bring unity to the body of Christ, to First Baptist Church, to to go after what God wants. And I love what one of the deacons said on, on Monday was, you know, when a church is focused on mission, when they're focused outside on, on doing what God wants us to do, there's unity mm -hmm. around the mission. And I love that. And that's, you know, that's what we're going for. Um but, you know, how about Christmas? Why don't you talk a little bit about what, why we're doing what we're doing at Christmas and how that's going to work. Well, we're just bringing the whole community together. Yeah. Busy time. Can I quiz you? Uh, no, it's 845. It's 845. 845. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We start 845. Oh, good we job. We got better. That's second take. <laughs> um, but 845, we're coming together as a community. And um, and then after the service at 845, we'll be having our life groups. Um, but the, the idea is, you know, we, we did a couple years ago and people really loved it. They, they love the music. They love being together. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a little bit earlier this year and, uh, but, uh, just, just being able to come together and enjoy all types of music and enjoy teaching and enjoy, we're going to have the kids in there. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we, we are just, we're just seeking to reflect for the friends that you invite and people that are coming. And I encourage you to make this a season where you invite your friends because it'd be great music. We're seeing Christmas music and, you know, people love Christmas music and just sharing the gospel in a, in a, a very creative and clear way mm -hmm. so that because um, many of us know those know the stories and know the text. But we don't want to just go through and through Advent and just make it repetitive. We, and we're going to really work hard on it because we just went through Advent a couple weeks ago <laughs> because it just seemed appropriate for that time. And now we go back and we, we look at the stories. We're going to look at the characters really closely and what, what God, who God used. Mm -hmm. And God pulled people out of their normal everyday life mm -hmm. to do amazing things. And uh, But yeah, just be a part of that. Invite your friends because they're always open during Christmas. Um, to come to church and to be encouraged, and uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna work our hardest as we discern what God has called us to every weekend. As the there's gonna be everything in those services. You know, you'll you'll see the choir, you'll see worship team, uh, you'll see collaboration there, you'll see um, great special music, all this great stuff that culminates in Christmas Eve. Yeah. So just just be a part of it, and just pray for the leadership team because I mean we are really stretching. You know, the worship ministry team. And there's a core within the worship ministry team that's working very hard on this project so that we can, you know, we pretty much handed that off and they're, they're doing really well. Yeah. That's, and that's another cool thing in the season of discernment and, and striving for unity is just the way people have jumped in mm -hmm. and said, I see it. I got you. We're, we're going after it. You know, the worship, the, the worship team, the, the committee, I guess, mm -hmm. and all the people who are involved in, in all the other aspects of worship have kind of just jumped in and said, we're going to, we're going to do this. And I was thinking as you were talking, um, you know, that, that verse, I think it's in Matthew that says, they will know you, we are Christians by our love. You know, yeah. they'll know we are your followers by the way we love one another. And I can't think about, think about this. I'm going to lay this out for you as a kind of scenario. Okay. Okay. You bring somebody to church and they know you prefer a certain style of music and a different style of music is played. And they look at you and they look at your response. And they're trying to figure, they're kind of going to see. And, you're ex and you get excited because, you know, somebody else is encountering Christ in that style of music. Isn't that a great picture of unity? That That of, is what we're called to. I just yeah. I just remember being, you know, when we have, when we have multiple generations in a room, yeah. you know, we need to be excited about yeah. whatever is going on. It, it's, if it's glorifying God, and it, it might not be a genre that is our favorite, mm -hmm. but you know the great thing about getting to know people in church, something about when you know the person that's using their gift to yeah. praise the Lord, it changes your whole perspective of everything, and really know them. And you know that that's a season. I, I hope during the season, if you have somebody that sings and 
they just really bless your bless your heart you go up and say hey what you know i don't really know you what what drives you what yeah. and and get that intimacy that that we're looking for as a church and growing together yeah it's, it's a great time to it's a great time to just develop that like I said, mm -hmm. that that unity that that oneness and there's something uh there's something exciting about seeing people encounter God, whether mm -hmm. it doesn't matter to me what way it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as it's honoring to scripture and mm -hmm. to God and, and people encounter God in that way, it's really exciting to see people kind of just, you can see it click. You can mm -hmm. see it happen. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of things to, uh, to keep on your radar. We won't go through everything. We did that last week, but uh, November 6th is um, Operation Christmas Child. We're mm -hmm. going to be packing boxes in the FLC. You can talk to Lenny Koleski or call the church office for more details on that. Uh, and then November 21st is turning mm -hmm. into <laughs> a very big day. Yeah, very um, long day. We're yes. going to have, uh, we had to reschedule the Kaufmans, as you know. They're coming on November 21st now. Uh, this is their first, this is kind of their introductory mm -hmm. missions thing at First Baptist Church. So mm -hmm. that'd be cool. Uh, that evening, we have our Thanksgiving uh, dinner. Um, if you're interested in helping with that, you can talk to Gene Kutzler. Mm -hmm. um, we need some people to help wait tables and whatever else Gene puts together. They, that team runs so smoothly. Oh, yeah. I don't even know what they do. It's great. They're, they're <laughs> glad to be back. Yeah. They're so excited. Uh, so if you're interested in getting involved, talk to Gene Kutzler there. Um, and we have that. But then during the service uh, in that morning, oh, we're also having, sorry. We're also having a service after the dinner for yes. Thanksgiving yeah, service. No, time there's no Thanksgiving Eve service. We're no. going to move that to, and kind of combine that with the dinner mm -hmm. and just celebrate thankfulness uh, for what God has done mm -hmm. uh, this year. But that morning, we're also going to have baptisms. Mm -hmm. uh, we just wanted to put a date on the calendar that says, you know, and make it known that if you're feeling that call to obedience through baptism, to let one of us know to call the church office, let us know. And we'll get that ball rolling and, and make it happen on November 21st. Uh, but there's a whole lot of other things coming. We'll keep you posted on those mm -hmm. things as we continue to go through this season. But uh, thanks for joining us for another week. Yeah. And uh, we pray that um, that as we continue on towards, you know, celebrating the coming of Christ at Christmas, that, that you know, this would just be an impactful time for you to encounter Christ. Looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. So have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. God bless you.